directory and directory structure directory you can simply assume if you are uh, using some operating system then directory can just be assumed to be a collection of files but when we are actually going to the disks disk and try to find out what is the directory structure so directory the collection of nodes containing information about files so if this is a directory this directory is simply the collection of nodes nothing else containing the information about these files see these are files the so the collection of these nodes are nothing but the directories and they both they both either you talk about the directory structure or you can you talk about files you find it on the disk if you want more backup then you can go to some tape drives etc so this is a kind of uh, type typical file system organization we can have say some disk different disk and you can put a file inside a directory so this is this uh, you might have uh, seen the window so you have partition like this and d colon this e colon this so you have multi multiple uh, disk which can contain the directory apart from the file but this is a partition of this so i'm talking about the partition and uh, multiple disk can be utilized but in one disk also you can have a directory inside this you have a file you can make a partition you can make another partition in this and you can have another directory when we talk about a uh, storage structure when you want to organize a data means you cannot just have haphazard uh, data you want some organization of data that can be done in in various ways first is the disk these are split into one or more partition that i just told you like c colon slash and you know d colon e like this and whenever you put a pen drive you might have seen some other partition would come so each partition contain information about files uh, within it uh, what are what are the information because every partition will if you put some files it will contain information about the file so it can be name uh, location size and type in a device directory in a device directory so the directory the operation that you can perform on a directory say you have a directory and inside this so this is a directory inside this you have multiple files now you can search for a file in windows when you open a file explorer you you can find a search search uh, tab here or you can say search space here so you can search a file you can create a file you can delete a file you can list a directory you can rename a file you can also traverse the file system so there can be a multiple scenario in a directory in the terms of how it is organized the single level directory so all files there is just one directory you can start with the main directory and all these files are contained in the same directory but the limitation is you cannot have the same name because they will conflict so a single directory that is for all users only one directory for all these users and they have these files you know all these files are contained inside this directory so there is a naming problem of course because you cannot have uh, multiple files with same name and grouping also cannot be done that is why we go ahead for a two level directory what this two level directory means here you have a user so this user we have separate directory for a user we call it as ufd user file directory we call it as a ufd and each entry in the mfd points to a ufd this is a this is a uh, user and you have a user file directory here and this user file directory is pointing to this mfd this is master file directory this is mfd and each user file directory 1 2 3 4 all these they are pointing to the the corresponding ufd and uh, one thing is that the no file name coll collision among different users see i can have a a here i can have a file name a here i can have a file name a here and also i can have a file name a here also so there will be no file name collision but the disadvantage of this scheme is because these are these are users and they are isolated they are separate from one another and for the same task they are they may not be able to cooperate for example the compilers loaders library they can be put in some uh, system file say some special directory say user 0 these are user 1 to 4 you can have some user 0 and this user 0 
that may contain compiler loader library these are system files so so that when the operation uh, is for these has to be performed it, it, it can be searched so it this is searched and the uh, if uh, operating system doesn't find these in the local directory say uft then it can go to this this one and what will be the search path because every time you have to give some search path so the directory sequence is searched when a when a file is named this is how the search path here is we start with the path name and we can have uh, same file name for different users this what we have seen the the searching is good here uh, but the grouping capability i want to group these these three or these five say i i may not be able to group them here so we have tree structure directory uh, now user can create their own subdirectories and organize files so user one he'll be able to make a directory some subdirectory some sub directory of some directory so this is possible in tree directory or tree structure directory so there are two things absolute path names and relative path names absolute path names always begin with the root right right from the scratch from the start and when you are on to some current directory say you are here at this point so relative path name it define a path from the current directory from if you are here it will start from here not from here and uh, in order to delete a say empty directory you just delete it but if you want to uh, delete a non empty directory a directory which is non empty first you delete all the files in the directory and then you delete all the directory files and subdirectories this is what you do the searching in this tree uh, structure directory is quite good efficient and the grouping capability is also there so this is how it goes this is the if you start with some current directory say i want to change directory i start with spell here then we have i have mail and then i have spell inside mail and then you i have program so i can go to the program part like this okay this is how the uh, current the organization goes when we uh, talk about some absolute or relative path if say you want to create a new file in current directory or you can you, you can delete a file like rm rm is remove mkdir is make directory uh, for instance if if uh, you are in the current directory say this mail then you just have to say mkdir you because you are already in mail you are here you are in this directory now you can just say you can just uh, say uh, when you come here at this point you can make a directory count inside this mail okay when you want to delete this mail if you want to delete delete this this node i must say deleting the entire subtree it all the subtree all the subtree you know, means you can have tree uh, for copy also for uh, prt also so you just you are just deleting the entire subtree rooted by this mail 